This is an early 40s Mercury V8. Um, I'm not sure if it's a 3 and 3 sixteenths bore. Sometimes they sleeve them down to 3 and 1 sixteenths. But it might be the saving grace of this motor if it's sleeved because it's been full of water. These nuts, half of them are rusted off. It's got a rust hole in the sump. And I want to pull the heads off and see if this block is usable. It might be a good candidate for a rebuild. And if I'm really lucky, it'll have the 8BA, 8BA crank with the um, the shell, Kippen shell bearings, not the floating ones, and have the two oil holes in the crank. And yeah, it'll be really good. But it's probably all stuff that's been outside for many, many, many years. Found the only way, I can't get the gas set here to heat these studs and that. Hammer on a metric socket. I really would like to heat them. And yeah, that one's moving. We can get them off this way. That's it, now I can't get the socket off. There we go. Yeah, the jarring helps loosen them too. I don't think these heads are saveable. One of the spark plugs is rusted out on the other side. And I think it's taken the threads with it. Yeah, half of these are coming off pretty easily. I have to get the think, chisel and chisel off those rusty ones. I'll just loosen them all off and then get the ratchet later and take them right off. Also if it's sleeve motor, you can knock out the sleeves and give them a hone and then it's a real big ball. Whoops, what am I doing? Yeah, they're coming off. That one at the back, the nuts rusted off completely. I like to strip this motor down here because it's right down in the bush in the chicken house. I've got to carry it out somehow. There's a million trees in the way. Ooh. Yeah, they're moving. See if I can get this one as half a nut. I might need to chisel that one off. Oh, it's coming. Surprisingly, most or all of them came off apart from this one's too rusty and this one and that one. So I'll try and chisel them off now. Start with the easiest one. Yeah, that just came right off. Last one over here. Okay, that was extremely easy. It took a fraction of the time I thought it would. 
No. Not that I'm religious at all, but we must pray now that it's reasonable on the ball, which I highly doubt it. And this is the good side of the motor too. The other side's got the spark plug rusted out. So this should have had a good amount of water down the bores for the past 40 years on this side too. See? Ooh. And the sump's rusted out too. That's what I was up against, nuts which had just totally corroded away. Here down in the Pacific, the atmosphere just eats metal. Don't do this if you plan on reusing the studs. It's starting to move. Not the best to use a chisel, but I'll get it high. Yeah, here comes the moment of truce. Come on, you fucker. It stinks. God. The head gasket's still stuck down. I think they're aluminium pistons. Yeah, it's got aluminium pistons. Uh oh. That's not good. Is it factory sleeved or is it? Um, doesn't appear to be sleeved. I think it's on standard bore too. Should be able to see the edge of a sleeve. That's oh, a relief motor as well. It's a Mercury. It's a factory relief motor. Real pitted there, real pitted. Ooh. It's gonna need a couple of sleeves. Well, it may bore it. And there we have it.
Yeah, that's a real shame. It's on standard bore, the, and there's no lip on the bore. It looks real tight in there. Would have been a mint motor, but 40 years too late. It's quite pitted here, so it would need at least four sleeves, maybe five. Might as well do the whole lot. But yeah, I'd say that was possibly, I don't know, would have been good a good block. Yeah, it's one of the big truck motors too with the relief. Oh, what a bugger.